So, tell the there champs, now have a look at this. This is my first water cooling build. Of course, has to be white. Gigabyte graphics card here. I will go through all of this and I'll just talk about some of the pitfalls and just some of the things you have to know when you're water cooling. First of all, it's friggin' expensive. Like add 800 US, 1500 Australian onto the price of whatever rig you get. That's what it's gonna cost you, ballpark sort of figure here. If you want something easy, go with the thermal take because trust me, whatever case you get, you don't know, you go buy like a reservoir here, how's it gonna mount, it's a head wreck. If you want something easy, just get thermal take. If you're just starting out with water cooling, I do have EK fittings on this um, and uh, EK water block here, gigabyte graphics card and the brief for this system here was as cheap as possible, okay? Cheap as possible, make a good gaming rig and it's a showpiece, it's like a water cooling system, I just want to show everything off and that's why I chose this case, this thermal take case. It's the P3 case, it's white, it's what I wanted. I had to choose this MSI motherboard because I wanted a white PCB and they're the only ones that really do that at the moment. I've got a lot more things to do. I have to get white cables here. There's some other tweaks I have to do and the final product will be coming soon and I'll do a proper, you know, professional video on this. This is like my ghetto video. White power supply made by Seasonic. Um, Seasonic make the best power supplies in my book and white fantastic ek radiator here we have corsair fans rgb fans and i painted that well i didn't paint it dodgy painted that radiator white and we have white ram corsair rgb ram there um i think it's vengeance rgb ram white of course and i'd just like to say a big thank you to dodgy dodgy dave the rock shooter we're talking the man that took 50 hours to get one kill in PUBG. 51 hours he had chicken dinner. Like the man is a killing machine now. And I'd like to really thank him because he basically done this. And um, yeah, he supplied a lot of spare parts here too. EK fittings, you know, the water blocks and stuff. And absolute legend, Dodgy Dave. And I will have a proper video on all the pitfalls of doing this i will say this color here looks fantastic i'll try and make it look as bright as it can i'll turn up the exposure have a look at that pink Woo! it's crazy right yeah it looks fantastic now one thing i learned water cooling is because this is my first water cooling build dodgy's done a few um and i will have videos on his water cooling build soon one thing i learned is you either do a custom loop to show off this color here this beautiful color in the actual pipes and the custom loop and the reservoir and the graphics card or you do an rgb setup both don't sort of mix you can put rgb it's fine but in order to show up these beautiful colors you have to put light on the motherboard and as soon as you put light on the effect of rgb just goes away now I do think thermal take have some sort of clear fluid you can get and you can actually put lights through the pipe, but it doesn't look as good as these solid colors. It looks a bit pissy, it looks a bit pale, and yeah, it's got light going through it, so it would work with RGB better, but it doesn't look as good as these solid colors. So I think it's either RGB, if you wanna do an RGB setup, do that. If you wanna do a custom loop and show up these colors in the reservoir and in the graphics card and in the pipes and that you do that I don't think you mix both I mean it doesn't harm to have um, RGB here which I do have these Corsair fans these are those uh, magnetic fans they're super quiet they work really well they're very efficient and you can control all the RGB with them they're fantastic I think they're probably the best RGB fans on the market at the moment Corsair RAM that's RGB too there's a lot of RGB RAMs and there's a lot of good ones, but uh, I just thought matching Corsair, why not? And I just trust Corsair when it comes to memory. 
and yeah i'm going to have a full video on this rig coming very soon uh i'm going to tell you the pitfalls of making a you know water cooling setup it's a bit of a head wreck if you haven't done it before nothing's easy bending these pipes what i've learned also is that thermal take make um this these are thinner pipes you can get fatter ones but the thermal take ones bend the best dodgy said that the thermal take ones bend the best so if you're starting it's just easy to go with thermal take i mean thermal take didn't supply any of this never talked to them in my life but if you just want easy and that's even for rgb just thermal take are killing it at the moment for easy rgb and easy water cooling eventually when you come better at this and you're building a more complex system because this is quite a simple system um yeah you probably won't be using thermal take at that point well maybe you will i don't know but they just make great cases that actually show off the stuff and this has a tempered glass front as well that i've actually bought for it that which is an option by the way and i just like this because it just shows off the components and that's what i want i want to show off the components there's no point for me having a water cooled graphics card if it's sitting in that slot there like that and you cannot see this beautiful color you cannot see the water block what's the point of that so that's why i chose this case so i could show off all the components and so far i'm loving it it games like a beast and i definitely have a video coming out soon for the full review of it and just yeah take you through it and thanks for watching guys if you're new around here want to subscribe and until next time tally ho